Well, if you're traveling downtown, some roads are still a bit slick, but area families aren't letting it put a damper on their weekend. Five on your side's Travis Cummings is live at Keener Plaza for us. Travis, lots of folks finally getting out and about. Yeah, Brent, it is not stopping the show. And guess where I'm at? NBC Sports is once in a lifetime snow globe celebrating the merge of the Winter Olympics and Super Bowl 56 on the network. Now, guess what? We know it was sloppy out there. I talked to families about it in the city working to clean things up. I was stuck in the house for three straight days, so it's nice to come out. Carrie Jepka and Steven Swanson, a few of many, making their way to Keener Plaza for NBC Sports' once in a lifetime snow globe activation. We were able to get around fine. Just some of the lanes and stuff are clear down here. They had to navigate the slushy roads downtown. The snowstorm left behind. The interstates were really clear. Once we got downtown, it was a little bit, um, we noticed that it seemed like the some city the parts light, yeah. were a little, but I know that they have been a little short on some staff. NBC officials highlighting Super Bowl and Winter Olympics coverage on one network, thankful for the sunshine. And I think the idea that we came just on the tail end of the storm, we love seeing the kids and the families and everyone playing in the snow, walking their dogs early here in the park. And Over at the Enterprise Center, families catching Disney on ice. Earlier it was pretty cold, but now that we've stepped out from inside, it, it feels much better. It's Karen Lewis's birthday gift to her daughter, Cadence. She's glad conditions are improving. The, the side streets where the homes are, they're a little bit rough, but everything as far as a main road is pretty good. City officials say crews of 25 drivers have worked all week to treat and clear main arteries and secondary roads. For the first time in nearly a decade, snow crews deployed to residential streets wide enough for equipment. They say, quote, keeping roads safe has remained the streets department top priority throughout this winter storm and historic levels of snow, sleet and rain. The city says their work resulted in more than a third of residential streets plowed and treat, treated by crews. Narrow roads, packed snow and parked cars impeded efforts to clear roads in some areas. Now with the expected rise in temperatures into the 40s beginning tomorrow, they're going to be able to evaluate how they're going to need to move forward on this. I know that they're enjoying themselves over here, but I'm also getting some snow in this globe, the Winter Olympics globe. Listen, you have about an hour to get down here. All right, we're live in downtown St. Louis. Travis Cummings, 5 on your side.